Hello everybody, my name is Fortifier and welcome to episode 13 of the Contemporary Corner. Today we're going to be talking about Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, also known as Philosopher's Stone. Now, if you grew up in the late 90s, early 2000s, you know who Harry Potter is. Probably because you had to do this educational program. For those of you who don't know what Accelerated Reader was, it was a program where you like read a book, you take a test, and you get points, and you get your star with your name on it in the library, and life was great! I never had one of those stars. You don't want to know why? Because I watched the movies and then tried to take the test and would fail miserably. This is a true thing. This is Young Fortifier did this shit. I promise you. So Harry Potter is a book, turns into a movie in 2001, and it wasn't long before everybody said, hey, fuck it. Video game time. By none other than Electronic Arts. This game was on every single console that was appropriate at the time frame too. Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Fucking GameCube, PS1, PC, PC version is probably the best. But today we're going to be talking about the PlayStation 1 version. Now the cool thing about Harry Potter is that growing up, we grew up with these characters, right? Harry Potter was young, Ronald Weasley was young, uh, Hermione Granger was young, and as time went on, we grew up with these characters. And ultimately, I didn't read the books until probably about Order of the Phoenix, to be honest. I was, I was a late bloomer when it came to this. Because I only watched the first movie, right? So, this version that we're playing uh, is my copy. But growing up, when I played this game, it was my sister's copy. I did not own a PS1. I never owned a PS1 until now. Why? Because I had a Nintendo 64. I don't know if this game came out in Nintendo 64. I imagine that it wouldn't be very successful if it did. Uh, it is what it is. This game is very dry. Very, very dry. It reeks of British humor, which means that it's direct. There's not much to it. And it, it's... Clear and concise is, I guess, the best way to say it. Uh, I got this game for $10 on eBay, and I played it, and I loved it. It's a really, really solid, fun game. It's a good time waster. It's not hard at all. It's a very beatable game for all intents and purposes. There's a lot of monotony and a lot of backtracking, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. If the game is playable, no matter how shitty it is, it can be a decent experience, because that's ultimately what gaming is, an experience. Let's go ahead and take a look at the case, though. It's pretty interesting. All right, let's take a look at my copy of Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone. So it's seen better days. Yikes, look at that. That's a pretty gnarly little crack. So we got Harry Potter on the front. He's grabbing the Golden Snitch, I think is what it's called, writing the Nimbus 2000 uh, around the outside of Hogwarts PlayStation. I got this for $10, but apparently it was sold for $4.99. So I got ripped off, but that's fine. That's fine. You gotta turn a profit somehow, even if it's a $4 profit. Anyway, kind of broken. It's fine. Let's see what we got on the back here. Let's see. Come on now. Oh my god. Let's see what we got here. Ride your Nimbus 2000. Why is it number 2000? I'm pretty sure it's just called the Nimbus 2000. Yeah, instead of being extra. Ride your Nimbus 2000 through green hoops. That doesn't happen in the movie, but it's fine. Battle evil foes, the troll. That's a good scene. Make sure that Harry knows his fucking order of PlayStation symbols so he passes Herbology or whatever the fuck this is. Magical puzzles and wizard games, and explore Hagwa. Great place, Hagwa. Hogwarts term begins, be Harry Potter, trademark, in a magical adventure filled with wizardry, fun, and danger. Uh, features cast spells and confront adversaries to thwart you-know-who's evil plans. You-know-who being uh, Snake Man. Lead Gryffindor to victory in Quidditch. Bear in mind, there would be an actual Quidditch game that, uh, that came out. Arya. What are you pretending to run away for? What are you doing? Why are you walking covering your head? Why do you have crayon on your head? Collect chocolate frogs, birdie bots, every flavor beans, and famous wizard cards. Uh, interact with over 20 unforgettable characters from J.K. Rowling's world, including Hermione Granger, Ronald Weasley, and Rubius Hagrid. All trademarked. Don't steal their fucking names. Fast-paced action, run, jump, climb, and sneak. Attend lessons to learn all things magical and win points for Gryffindor. One player memory card, analog control, uh, vibrators, comic mischief, and mild violence. That's my favorite. If, you, if you've ever watched this, uh, this series, comic mischief is one of my favorite things ever. I hope I get arrested for it one day. Comic mischief. And mild violence. Those two combined are probably what caused the, the comic mischief. EA Games. Let's go ahead and take a look at the manual. Nice blue disc. I really like this. PlayStation games are cool. I don't know. That's just me. One-handed style. Pro strats. 
really good artwork. Alright, what we got here? I think that this manual, it doesn't go too far in depth. I think it gives you like a basic plot or whatever. Uh, let's see, introduction. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, where a world of uh, magic and adventure awaits you. In the role of Harry Potter cast spells explored in this magic new realm, you'll see right away this is a far cry from the humdrum existence to which you've been accustomed. AKA, your life sucks. With friends to be made in an enormous magical world to be explored, you need your wits about you if you're going to succeed at Hogwarts. Be sure to keep your eyes open for all manner of useful items, including a large collection of famous witches and wizards cards. Trademark. Collect items and learn your spells and you'll be on your way towards completing your challenging quest. There will be uh, help on hand from the likes of Hagrid, Hermione, and Dumbledore. Not trademark, so use these versions. And you are going to need it if you're going to triumph over all sorts of adversaries from Draco Malfoy, the fucker, and his henchman Crab and Goyle, two unimaginable magical creatures sent bent on stopping you at all costs. Get them all, and perhaps you'll be ready to take on you know who, not trademark. For, inter for more information, go to this website. It's probably not a thing anymore. Actually, that one probably is. HarryPotter.com, but I'm pretty sure became Pottermore. Used to be some fun games on that website, too. Yeah, pretty straightforward. It just tells you about uh, about the games. That's fine. But look, house points. If you play the game and you're not an asshole, you'll win this. And of course, tons of warranty information. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk a little bit of plot. Let's go ahead and do a very bland plot section. Keep it, keep it really simple, because we don't want to spoil anything, right? We don't want to, we don't want to spoil it. Very, very specific about that. So your name is Harry Potter. You are a wizard who is in England, who lives with his really shitty family members, uh, that one day gets inundated with a bunch of letters saying to go to this place that probably doesn't exist because it's fiction. Just kidding, you can't see it because you're a fucking muggle. Educate yourself on wizard culture. You swine. Anyway, you go there and you go to school and you you fight this guy who's I'm pretty sure an Aryan reimagination of Hitler's dreams, uh, who's a complete asshole in a house called Slytherin uh, and a bunch of other things. Big bad boys come out and eventually a snake man says "fuck you, Harry Potter," and it becomes a major plot point for the remaining books. It's essentially it. Try not to spoil it because Harry Potter is an experience. Harry Potter is fucking awesome. I, I always loved Harry Potter. I have not checked out the most recent book, the, uh, the Cursed Child or whatever, because it's not the same. You can't have the spawn of two people who boned in the final book as a centerpiece. No, thank you. Own the royalties and move the fuck on, okay? It's not being co complicated. Harry Potter, let's go ahead and pop it in. Uh, my daughter decided to flip over my PlayStation 1 yesterday, so hopefully it works. If not, I do have a backup. I own two ps one so we'll see. I'll see you on the other side. All right, let's go ahead and see. Sony Computer Entertainment. Now, this is a sound that brings me really far back. It's also one of the, this, like the scariest sounds I remember from my childhood. Is when a PS One doesn't doesn't want to boot up. It's it's fucking terrifying. Now you can see no signal every now and then. I'm using a Frame Meister, so that's why. EA Games. Challenge everything. I guess they didn't say it yet, but that's that would be their motto soon. Believe it or not. What we got here? What we got here? Oh, yeah. We got uh, three different Englishes. Fuck, that's loud. We got American English, French English, and Spanish English. The front. <laughs> Lightning. We're going to choose American English. Alright, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Uh, yeah, pretty simple. Let's check out these options. I don't think I ever did. Look mode, reverse normal. Broomstick control, reverse normal. Sound options, center of the screen, and exit. So pretty simple. There's no difficulty curve in this game. You just play it. Here we go. Time for some archaic shit. Alright, I do not want to create any save data because we're not going to we're not gonna play like this all the way through. Like I said, I have beaten this game. Pretty interesting title. But uh, not really fun. Alright, here we go. This is their cutscene. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket-wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter. The boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. 
until that fateful day when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school <coughs> supplies. That's not accurate. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express they, they didn't send him to the shack where he like gives him a fucking birthday cake and shoots it with an umbrella. Behind. I'm a what? Harry sat beneath the sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House. Oh Griffin God, they're Hall. skipping so much not shit, man. Are you serious right now? There's a lot of stuff they're fear. skipping. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor. Jesus Christ. So these cutscenes, uh, you're not going to see a lot of them, but you are going to see the loading screens an awful lot. Sometimes they take a little bit of time, sometimes they're pretty quick. There's fucking Albinius Dumbledoreus, whatever the fuck his name is. Jesus Christ. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. What was that guy? Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, so search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Oh, um, uh, which reminds me, uh, the third floor corridor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. I'm pretty sure that he just gaslit Harry Potter. Anyway, so D-pad moves us around. Uh, the triggers don't do anything except for move the camera. So left trigger will move it left, right trigger will move it right. Uh, square doesn't do anything if we, uh, we light up the chronic whenever we hit X, which is fine. So uh, we don't know any spells yet, so we need to go remedy that. So... Nitwit, blubber, oddment, tweak, Four wonderful words, don't you think? Dude, you're on fucking meth. Okay. So we can't go in here. That's the broom cupboard. This is the dungeon, which is the way to, I believe, uh, Snape's class, whenever that time happens. We can go in here. This is a portrait room. Portrait. Well, now, it's nice to see a new face and a Gryffindor, too. Good for you. Good for you. I can't remember the last time I opened up. However, if you can find out the correct password, I'll give it a go. Off you go then, but be careful. Okay. So the way that we get passwords to enter these portraits, portraits, is to uh, give the beans to George and whatever his name is, Harry, Harry and George. I don't know the. It's the it's, I, it's the Granger brothers, but they're the twins. I don't remember their names. Gryffindor Tower is this way. I uh, just want to point out the plot section left out a lot of important stuff. For example. Harry Potter does get letters from Hogwarts inside of his house, but there's a shit ton of stuff that happens in between, right? Um, for example, they move to a little shack in the middle of a river, and that's when Hagrid pops down and starts blasting people with piggy piggy spells and shit and a bunch of other things that otherwise, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, tons of secrets here. And this is one right now. This is a famous witches and wi wizards card. I said, who is it? Merlin. Merlin. So those are collectibles, and if you collect everything, you get the uh, the last card, which is actually yours. Uh, the boy who lived, Harry Pothead. Potter. Oi, cunts, what you got to say? That scar, you must be Harry Potter. Fred and George. It's fucking Fred, Fred bro. Weasley, and this is my brother, George. Hello there, Harry. We have a proposal for you. In Hogwarts, there are special portraits. Ugh. And behind these special portraits, Stop. are prizes. But of course, not just anyone can open up the portrait. Please! You need to know the password. If you bring us earwax every flavor beans, we'll tell you the password. We'll be in the Gryffindor common room, which is through the portrait of the fat lady. Kaput Draconis. See you around, Harry. What's my password? Password? Kaput Draco. Fucking nailed it. All right. I remember that shit. <laughs> anyway, another another uh, loading scene. Like, like I said, you're going to see like a fuck ton of these. So don't freak out. They're not so bad. They're not so bad. Alright, we're gonna go around and explore. We're, there's when Hermione. You a wild potion, no, it's not Hermione. Is all you have. Remarkable, isn't it? No. It's just it blows my mind how dry this game is. That's how you save your game. If you lose any stamina, grab a chocolate frog. It will give you back some energy. I appreciate that. You're my main man. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue the game. We're not gonna get too far in. I just wanted to kind of show you how it is. So as you can see, the music non-existent. 
The artwork, pretty decent for a PS1 game, not gonna complain about that. Uh, the sounds, very dry. Very dry, plus you can smoke the chronic. Alright, there you go. Uh, we haven't been to one of the classes yet, so we can't do the- Oh my god, this is my favorite thing ever watch. Slippy slip slip! Yeah! Alright, this is the charms corridor, this is one of our first classes. Oh fuck! It's the, uh, it's the monk, it's the Hufflepuff. That's the Hufflepuff. I think this is the monk, friar, douchebag. I don't, I don't know. Right, let's go over here. This person's gonna be hey, like, Harry, "Remember me, Ron Weasley?" Yes, yeah, so I just met That's you on the train. On the train. Malfoy ran through this door with an owl under his arm. I think it was your owl, Hedwig. Let's go after him. Why is that guy stealing my owl, bro? <clears throat> you think in the wizard wizarding world that'd be punishable by death, right? Just like in the old Wild West, if you stole somebody's horse, they'd hang you. Come on, Harry. Let's f well, well, oh, God. well. If it isn't the famous Harry Potter. Shut the fuck up, Draco Malfoy. Malfoy. And you do well. You look like Ed Sheerhan, but worse. Looking for that owl of yours? How careless of you to leave it lying about. Go home to your mother, Potter. Oh, sorry. You don't have one, do you? Bitch. Wow, what a cunt. All right, so. He's a nasty piece of work. Yes, he is. Just ignore him. Already a tracking. stick together. Please stop talking. I just want to play the game. Come on, Harry. Follow me. To climb up, just push forwards on your controller. What's a controller? Let's go. Stop yelling at me, bro. What's a controller? I need to know. Oh, I forgot Harry Potter can jump, like, ridiculously high in the sky. Watch this shit. Watch this shit. It's hilarious. Here we go. Whoa! Harry Potter does not fuck around. Oh. Oh. I see you, cunt. I'm coming for you. Come slap that ass. Oh, you're lucky I can't reach just like two more inches. I'd fuck you up, Draco. Alright, let's keep going. Follow me. Oh, here we go. We gotta watch him go. To jump. Jump. Another feather. Please I'll shut up. Back and watch the entrance. You better go on and rescue Hedwig. Please stop. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Alright, big boy uh, jump. Big boy jump. Uh, now when we beat this, I actually thoroughly enjoyed this game. Uh, this was a game from my childhood. Like I said, my sister had it on PS1. Really, really fun. I enjoyed it. Um, in the, the later parts of the game, it can get, it can get kind of like fucked up. In the later parts of the game, it can get kind of fucked up. That's just the way it is. Sorry if I stumble on my words today. For some reason, my neck hurts really, really bad. Like, it's locked up. They have that sometimes, so it affects how I speak. Anyway, last feather. Boom. Boom, boom. There you go. That's the first music we've had in quite some time. It's just quiet. There's no music. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Hello, Harry Potter. My name is Nearly Headless Nick, and I am the Gryffindor House Ghost. This is true. Oh, look how tall this room is. Well, I mean, you must go all the way to the top to get out. Yes, that's true. If you want to look around, press your triangle button. What's a triangle button? Press the triangle button again when you finished. Why? What's a triangle button? I'm a boy who just happened to live because a snake man blasted me in the face with a goddamn Avada Kedavra green spell. Who are all these people? I feel that these might like be developers or something. Looks uh some Russian guy. Who's this guy? Uh looks like Cheech. Right, big boy jump. Looks like William Henry up there. Not William Henry, what the fuck is his name? The uh Oh that just looks like Henry Rollins! Wow, impressive. Who's this guy? Oh no. I don't know who that guy looks like at all. Alright, big boy jump. Go over here. And Queen Elizabeth, what's up? How are you? Nice baps. Look at them. Look at those puppies. Cleavage and all. Alright, chocolate frog, just in case you're an idiot and fall down. Let me grab this one. I don't think there's anything else for us to get. What's up here? It's misleading, whatever it is. Let's grab it. Is there anything up here? Or is there just no point to it? Now, usually, if this was me playing it, uh, I'd do some fuck shit and just jump down to 
to see how uh, how you die <laughs> if you die from falling that high. But we're not gonna do that because that's really silly. That's silly, right? No one would ever do that. Ah, some snails have escaped from a care of magical creatures class. Careful, they're dreadfully poisonous. Press the cross button to cross the Fipendo knockback. Cross button? What's a cross button? You mean the X button? And in that case, what's the next button? And watch out for the Oh no, my blunt lit up, not shooting red circles. Alright, no more smoking. Fuck firing shit now, boys. Just a flick of the wrist. It's like a 9 mil. This is the wizard 9 mil attack. That's what this is. We're getting house points for doing it, too. So this level's pretty much a tutorial level. It teaches you how to move around, how to use a flipendo knockback jinx. Just a few other things. Who's this fucking nerd? I can flipendo your mom. That's what I can do. I right, got now. I got to talk to him. Did you notice things are this yeah, they twinkle. Easy. It's a jinx block. Okay, just stop talking. This game holds your hand, man. I used to think, real talk, vote now on your phones. This guy was saying a Nintendo. Watch. Nintendo. It's actually saying Nintendo. Boom. Boom. Cool. Got house points for that just by participating, which is fine. We get more house points if we blast this. Watch this. See if we can do it. Boom. What the fuck's trying to kill me? A rat? Get out of here. Yo, I'm dying because of a rat. You remember when Harry Potter died because of rats? Or was mildly affected by rats? I don't. Cool. All right, let's grab this feather. Feather. D-pad controls of this are pretty janky. I'm pretty sure there is analog control. Or, uh, yeah. So you can use the analog stick. But we're using a D-pad here, so that's why you're seeing me run all over the place. If you're using the analog stick, it actually controls really well. Oh god, who is that? Is that Zimnus? Is that Ansem? Well, you made it this Please stop talking. Please stop talking. Let me just play the game. Thank you. We got supercharger. Boom! Nintendo. Boom! Nintendo. Nintendo. There we go. All right, big boy jump. Come on. Please, Harry. Some parts of this game can get monotonous. It's a lot of back and forth and a lot of backtracking, but it's not bad. It's not a bad game. And all the feathers, unlock the door, and I think we have charms class next, which will teach us the uh, Wingardium Leviosa. Malfoy led me down here and then ran through a secret passage with an owl. Yeah, that'd be now my I'm owl. By these enchanted books. Sucks to be you, nerd. I've lost my wand, so oh I can't my God, you, the you're the worst, Neville. Neville. You know that shit. Please stop. What's the cross button? I literally just ran by them, my guy. Stop being a pussy. Neville Longbottom, you handsome fucker. Because he, he gets really, really handsome. Got it. There, I found it. Yeah. All right, cool. So I don't think there's anything else to get here. We got Miss White from Clue right there, which is nice. We got Nick Jonas. That's so always nice to have him in the library too. Who's over here? Share. And uh, that guy who says inconceivable. I don't even know his fucking name. Actually, that looks like Ego Raptor if he was bald. That. <laughs> Okay, chill. That is Aaron Hansen if he was a balding man. Nice. Okay. I don't think I've met a single PE teacher that wasn't a, a power lesbian. Okay, so this is actually not working. Interesting. Oh, it's... This is... What? Okay. I have to actually go in that direction. That's strange. I don't like that. Fuck. Well done. Five points for Gryffindor. But I could have gotten more Next points. Is a little harder. Fly ready, Potter. All right. So you actually, this is not. I went through that. Get out of here. I feel like it's slow. Got that. That's what we really want, though. If you're going for like a weird completionist run, you want that. Oh my 
god. So much easier to control this with a stick. D-pad's kind of monotonous. Alright, I hit her! Oh fuck, fuck, fuck! I don't know where to go! This is hell to control. I don't believe you may have a natural talent for this. Ready for a tougher challenge? As before, on my whistle. Toot! Alright. Please. Oh god. Alright, let's go up here. This is gonna be our first class. Classes oh, are always no. tied to some stupid fucking like mini game or challenge. In this case, we have to jump over certain things at a certain speed or whatever. I don't know. It's just some jank shit you gotta do. Here we go. Let's try it. Get to the charms class before the timer runs out. Walk through the floating clocks to start the timer. Could you imagine if this was like every day in college? Like in order to get to your home economics class, you have to jump off of 20 different floating stoves. That's what I feel like this game is sometimes. Look at this. How is this safe for children? Oh god. Oh no. I need that. Alright, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Six. Seven, eight. Perfect score. Hell yeah. You must be Harry Potter. I am. Welcome to Charms class. You're just in time. I don't think you're really Welcome Flitwick. Young wizard. I am Professor Flitwick. Flitwick don't look like that. The spell Wingardium Leviosa. Watch my one move and press the symbol button it points to. Complete each sequence three Circle, times triangle, to learn the square. Now you X. try. Circle, Remember, triangle, press the symbol. Square. Get ready. Here we go. Triangle, square, X, circle, that triangle, good. square, X, circle, Excellent. triangle, square, X, circle. Perfect. Superb. Keep up. It's not going to get harder. Triangle, square, circle, X, triangle, good. square, circle, X, Excellent. triangle, square, circle, X. Perfect. Congratulations. I just mastered the art of it. Well done. Again, notice the lack of music in this game. Just an inherent lack of, of tunes. I don't get it. I don't get it. Alright, so this is where there's a few classes here and also a few secrets. This is the Hufflepuff house, I think. Maybe. The Hufflepuff side of things. Armor gallery. So we can go in here, we can get a few more beans. This is just an extra area. Uh, if you don't want to get sliced by these fellas. Oh, bullshit. Here's the fucked up part. They're not even hitting you with the sharp part of it. Look at it. Look at them. They're not even real knights. They're not good. We can save the game here, though. You know, just in case you're afraid you're going to die from something so simple. I don't think I ever died or gamed over in this game. It's very, very tough. You have to, like, try to die. Watch out for the suits of armor. I think Peeves has been at work. I hope... I hope I'll never meet one. What, Peeves? Oh, you'll meet Peeves, and he'll make fun of you because he's an asshole. All right, so I think this is a mini game in here. This is the shooting gallery. Some nasty Slytherin student has charmed all of my chocolate frogs. Pump, please help me. Sounds like a plan, my man. So I just got blasted, right? Easier said than done. It, the controls are rough on a D-pad. Oh dear, I think. Po Listen, you motherfucker. Wingardium Leviosa. Look at my six skills in levitation. Wingardium Leviosa. I think the door's gonna like ravage his asshole in a second. Hold on. Ravaged! Ow! Time for a lesson, Potter. Let me teach you about wizard crackers. Racist! You're not leaving this castle until I have revenge. Please don't. Hey, you want to see something funny? Aw, oh, dick. Okay. So he throws him at me. I pick him up. I throw him back. You give him the give him the the what for? Throwing the crackers at crackers. It's great. 
Can't wait for him to stop moving. <laughs> stupid easy. This game's stupid easy. Crab, take care of this upstart. Now, Potter, I'll give you a taste of my super wizard crackers. Jesus! Such strength. Super simple first little boss battle. Kind of early though, for some good reason. I don't know why they whip it out so soon, but it is really right. Get bucked. All right, here we go. Get fucked, pussy. Fuck! I hit crab. This is equivalent to throwing light bulbs at somebody. I hope you know that, right? Like, what would you accomplish if you beat me? Like, I threw explosives at Harry Potter and he got injured. Crab, you idiot! You're supposed to protect me! Goyle, get in here! Now we'll show this twit who the real wizards are! Listen, bitch. He's gonna giggle. Watch. <laughs> You just gave me double ammunition, so that's fine. It's fine. Give me double ammunition. It's fine. Look how much ammunition is going everywhere. Ow. I wish Dumbledore would come down and be like, Why Why are you having ISIS battles in my fucking living room? Alright, what are you doing? There you go. He's stupid easy! Just throw like you gotta throw right whenever. Ow! So he starts to throw. You gotta throw. Oh, I didn't realize you could get this close to him. It's a perspective I've never seen. It's interesting. Throw some mammy, please. Triangle, circle, X, square, X, circle, triangle. Good. Circle, X, square, X, circle, Excellent. triangle, X, circle, square, circle, X. Perfect. Just kidding. I had a stroke right there. So unfortunately, this is the speed of the game. You're not going to see it get any faster. It's not going to get any more exciting. It's just a very it's casual title. Use your one. Hit the All right. Incendio. Incendio, yeah. X, circle, X. X square X X triangle. X, Boom! Five point. Can I blast him again? Anyway, believe it or not, believe it or not, we've been playing this game for 48 minutes now. Uh, this is all you're going to see. Pretty simple way to judge this. It's just very, very slow, but it's fun. It's nice to veg out on. You should veg out on it. You should have fun with it. Uh, quit his training pitch. We can go here. Check it out. I think that's enough for me, though. We're going to stop recording and uh, go ahead and rate it. Okay, that was cool. Let's go ahead and rate the game. Case. Case is really appealing. Uh, I don't personally own any of the books anymore. I did when I was a kid. But it's kind of it kind of looked like this. I don't know. It's when it, when it comes to advertising, you have to make something pop. And what's better than putting fucking Harry Potter on a flying broomstick chasing after a yellow testicle? What's, what's better than that? There isn't anything. Nothing. Not a damn thing. I'm gonna go ahead and give the case an A. It does what it's supposed to do. It, it, if you're a kid and you see this on the shelf, you're gonna be like, that's Harry Potter. The font is correct. Fucking Harry's on the front. And it's just, wow, I wanna play this because this book was magical and the movie was even better, right? So I wanna do that. I wanna do that. A. Gameplay. So as you saw from me playing it, the gameplay is kind of hit or miss, but it's not bad, okay? If you're on slippery surfaces, you'll run around and moonwalk in every direction, but that's fine, okay? It's totally fine. Compared to other games where you're freely running around, Tomb Raider, Harry Potter is a fucking masterpiece. Uh, there are some parts of the game that obviously we didn't cover today that are a lot more bullshit, uh, but it's not an impossible game. I don't think I ever gamed over and I wasn't playing on an easy setting I was just playing through the game. This game's created for kids, right? So it's not gonna be inherently difficult It's not gonna be inherently difficult. This wasn't targeted to a demographic that really wants a challenge This is for somebody who is 
you know, familiar with the Harry Potter franchise and wants to enjoy it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the gameplay a B. Not so bad. So the artwork on PS1 is always gonna be janky. That is just the limitations of the hardware, okay? It's not any, it's not a fault of the developer, right? There is no beautiful, perfect, streamlined game in this capacity in a 3D space on the PS1 that really stands out to me, if that makes sense. I mean, we can compare Nintendo 64 to PS1, and for me, Nintendo 64 is always gonna win because it's just not to smooth out and make it look better. Compare Super Mario 64 to Harry Potter, and you will see that Nintendo 64 is superior. While it might not have the best games the best games probably are on the ps1 when it comes to that but that's a conversation for a whole nother episode on something i'm planning called the retro Masterclass. and we'll get to that at some point in the future when i relaunch is fortifier 2.0 uh with a lot of different stuff right so for all intents and purposes artwork we're going to go ahead and give it a b it's not bad you know what the fuck everything is it's not hard b music d there's barely any music you get a little bit of a snippet of a level thing other than that it's like you're a and you're an alien the movie. There's no music. It's really quiet. It's unfathomably quiet. Uncomfortably quiet all the time in the game. It's just you and the sounds of your fucking feet slapping the ground as you run around. That's literally it. And in the Gringotts level, when you're in the bank going on the minecart to go do a bunch of stuff, uh, all you hear is squeaks like basketball sneakers on the court. Non-stop. It's great. It's exactly what I want to hear. So I'm going to give it a D. Big yikes. Fun! Yeah, absolutely. This game is incredibly fun. I strongly suggest that you give it a shot. Uh, like I said, it, it stands up against other 3D games in the time. The platforming really isn't that bad. It's just a good game. And if you like the Harry Potter books, you're going to like this game. The other game's not so good. But we'll, we'll get to that some other point. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And down in the comment section below, tell me what you're playing and what I should be playing. Uh, Lord knows I'll probably play it because I have a big wall of bullshit behind me. And I'm always looking for a new excuse to check out something amazing. And as always, from my family to your family, good energy, good vibes. Fortify out.